اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Satan or Shaitan the outcast. I begin with the name of God Almighty who is always most gracious and most merciful to all of his creations without exceptions. My beloved brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. To my beloved brothers and sisters of other faiths, may the peace and blessings of the master creator of the heavens and the universe be showered upon all of us and together we all pray for divine guidance, guidance that will lead us to the pathway that leads towards the gates of Jannah, the gates of paradise, or the gates of the garden of bliss. Today's topic, nice one as usual, wishful thinking. Nice topic, wishful thinking. People seek their own happiness in others' pain. They oppress those who are close to them and attempt to make a name for themselves amongst the far distant. They are unjust in their private lives, but put on a show of justice in public. They cannot bear to hear themselves criticized, but consider themselves as having been appointed by God Almighty to criticize others. They are expert in detecting the faults of others while ignoring their own faults. But the reward of God Almighty, the Master Creator of the heavens and the universe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will be reserved for those who give others what is due to them and who do wrong to their neighbors, who are not selfish in their dealings with others, but think in terms of what is fair and just, who do not think of their own interest when the truth is at stake, though who lose themselves in the greatness of God. People are playing with fire, but have no idea of the consequences of their deeds. They are careering towards hell, but are happy in the mistaken idea that they are well on the way to heaven. One can put pity those who have only false hopes to their credit and who seek to make capital out of such wishful thinking. One can only pity those who want to fashion in the world created by God, a world of their own choice, which is not permissible in the eyes of the Almighty God. We pray that God Almighty will guide us to what is right, keep us away from what is wrong, and give us the knowledge so that we have that ability to distinguish what's right and what's wrong and to stand up against injustice and to tread the straight path because in the end result we will all die as the glorious Quran says Kullu nafsin maut. we will all have that taste of death it's coming of that time and hour know it no man not even the angels in heaven so let's prepare for the world hereafter which is beautiful inshallah until next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh